What's up, YouTube? As y'all can see, I'm in the shade because it is hot. But I know y'all see that right there. We got something for the Malibu. Yeah, I probably don't even know what it is. Y'all like, that's a big box. It is. It's a kind of heavy box because there's two things in there. And as y'all see in the title, I got some new seats for the Malibu. Because y'all know I had reps in my seats. I was going to get them fixed. But I was like, I mean, I'm kind of like a YouTuber. So why go back the same color and why just get them fixed the same color and not just switch it up? So y'all might see it's a different color. And I plan on getting my seats, my back seats redid the same color. So don't worry about that right now. I just ordered the front seats because I'm going to get them done like by somebody so they can match the color and match the design. But I took a sneak peek of the seats. Dope. They dope seats. But it's hot right now. It's like three, about to be four o'clock. I'm going to try to knock this out real quick. I looked at the video on YouTube because I don't be knowing exactly what to do. So I seen there was like two bolts in the back and you got to unbuckle the uh, seat belt. Not unbuckle, but right there by the bottom, you got to unhook it. And it's one little boat holding it on. And then I think the front of the seat is not held on by boats. It's held on by clamps. So just two boats, really. And I'm going to try to knock these out for y'all. If I, like, skip some stuff, it's hot out here. So bear with me. But y'all already know. Hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. So... We're trying to hit at least 2,000, but I'm trying to get back to the videos for y'all. I already know. I've been gone for about a month. Still ain't got the rims on. Got to get the rims fixed. We got plans for those, so got to buy like two tires. <laughs> I got things to do, but my main focus was to buy some new seats so I can show my interior off because, oh yeah, I got something else. So the floor mats, we got, I ordered some more of those too, so we're going to switch that up also. But stay tuned for the video. We're about to get into it. Let's go. All right, you two. So the reason I'm replacing the seats, cause y'all know we got rips. These seats are tearing. And I kind of like this part cause this get dirty quick. And I can't do it no more. But we got these little things right here. that we got to pop off to get the seats out. Yeah, we gotta pop those out real quick. So I'm gonna pop that off. Try not to scratch this. I got this little thing to do, use one of these. So I'm gonna try to pop that off. And then, let me show you how to put some back. See this all the way up. I think they are star bits, which I got stars, yep. And I actually gotta clean up under this seat. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, it's nasty. But we got star bits right there. And then, we got this clamp right here, which you just push it to the left down here, as the dude said. Just push it to the left over there, and should be able to pull it straight out. Yep. Pull it straight out, push it back in, just in case. I think he said push it back in, try to push it back in. If it don't go back in, oh well. But, yep, I'll hook that, get the star bits out, and then take the seat out. But I'm not gonna show y'all all that because I might get hot and frustrated. I'm gonna just pull the seat out because I know y'all wanna see these seats. Y'all wanna sneak peek. That's all y'all can get for right now. But we're gonna get to pulling these seats out. All right, so now we're about to pull the seat out. First, I'm gonna pop this off. I'm not trying to scratch my seat. Make Boy, it's a hot day to be doing this. Oh, 
too big. Go ahead and this. Way too big. Can you grab it then? No idea. That's not the can hustle thing, right? Yeah, it is the can. Never mind. It's not. Work early. <sighs> Wish I had power. I do got power to me. On the watch. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just so old fashioned. One day. One day I use power to me. All right, YouTube, so as you can probably see in the video, I had cut it, but this piece right here was coming out with the bolt, which it shouldn't, and it was holding this piece, the bolt, and that piece on together. So I tightened it back up, and then I held both pieces together, then I loosened it up, and then the bolt came out by itself. Watch this. There's a bar here. 10 millimeter bolt. So now, as you can see, the seatbelt is on hook from right there. Make sure you keep up with these pieces. I'm gonna put those back together once I put that bolt back in there. But I didn't need no flathead or screwdriver, none like that. So, can I slide this thing up some more? Nope. Let's get this tune this up a little bit. Then we're gonna start on the back, the back too. Which should be what's left. So we're gonna unhook both of those real quick. Which ain't no good view in here, so I'm uh loosen up both of those and I'll get back to y'all. So let me do that real quick. Alright, you two, so I got both of the back bolts out. Oh Lord. Let's try to get this seat out. All right, YouTube, so I figured out how to get the seats off of the clamp. All I did was wiggle it back and forth, and now I can pull the seat out. Alright, so I, now I cleaned up under the seat. Got a nickel up under here. Got a pinnail up under here. Got a nail from work. <laughs> Alright, let me get this um, cleaned up real quick. Now I get back to y'all. I'm hot. Alright, so I got everything cleaned up as best as I could. So, let's try to put the new seat in there. It is so hot out here. Let me sit down first. <sighs> yeah, I couldn't drive like this with no seat. I can't see nothing. <laughs> I can't see nothing. Literally. Well, YouTube, I took my old seats out. 
and it's a problem. These seats are a little bit smaller. They're not, the bracket is not wide enough, put it like that. Cause none of this stuff lines up. But it said it fit a metal. Which guess what? It doesn't fit a metal. And these seats are so dope. Diamond stitch, like the floor mats. And then if I put my um floor mats in here, they're not gonna fit because it doesn't line up. So I'm thinking about it. Either getting them modified or sending them back. I don't know yet. I'm debating. I'm debating. They kind of look like they're on the slimmer side. I ain't gonna lie though. They comfortable. Man, these seats are so dope. But they don't fit. So I got two options. Take a picture of these seats. Get those seats built like these seats. Which like kind of like diamond stitched in the middle. And made out of this material. Which I could do that option where I can keep all my stuff and just get the seats repaired. That's what I might go with. Instead of getting all that fabricated and then it still be like room on the side and then I have to worry about getting this to fit. So we might just get them rewrapped. My original seats. This color. Just take the money. Send these back. Take the money and get them made like this. This might be an option. But I'll probably post on um, Instagram and see what people say. That's the best option. But these are so dope. That's crazy. I mean, I kind of need that bad. I just want to get my seats done. But these don't take up that much space, so. We might just get the original redone. I kind of want to get my steering wheel redone, too. Because look at that. That's something I've been baking at. So, that's my what I do. Let's get the. I'm not made out a lot of money. Get the front two seats done. And then like a month or two or later knowing me i'll wait a little bit longer than that then get the bags done <laughs> so i probably just get a lot of pictures of these and then take my rental seats to get done that was i can keep out my lift there and all that stuff these like manual seats like hmm. yeah they're probably gonna do it. we're gonna send these back I'm gonna get my other ones redone. But I am gonna take some pictures because I want them like this. These are dope. Not the back though. I want my back to stay the same. I don't want my back to be this color because I want it to be this color because this is like carbon, but it's not like real carbon, it's like material. But I want it to be black because kids be putting their. I want my back to stay like that. Kids be putting their feet on the back of my chair and they're just gonna leave marks on this type of material, like this tan color, so. <sighs> That's a fail, but it really not a fail, cause it's just like a lesson. But we're gonna get my seats done. Let's believe that. I like this though, those are dope, but that's a pretty light because they're smaller. But now, put in a box, they were heavy because it's too old. Dang, gotta take a step back, but 
Oh well, I really could take the money to get my rent fees. <laughs> ah, I be like, well, YouTube, this is the end of the video. I'm about to put these back in the box. And we're going to shut these back off. Because I'm going to get my money back for these. Appreciate it for watching, though. Stay tuned for when I get my seats redone. As y'all can see, we got the original beat-up seat back in now. <laughs> but if y'all see this video before I send the seats back, anybody want the seats? They can buy the seats. The price on the seats is four hundred dollars. Either way, they done about buy the seats. I'm sending them back. So y'all just let me know. But we still got new floor marks coming in, so I'm not mad. And either well, we is gonna get these seats redone. I'm just gonna get them redone similar to those seats. Try to get them done similar to those seats. Try to get some type of diamond pattern. Like right up here or something. And you get that same type of material. That like tan material. So that's what we're going for. And I want to do something about my steel with steel. Oh. I think I can get my round face. But <laughs> that's it for today, YouTube. Stay tuned for the next video when I get my floor mats in. Or I get my seats redone. Who knows?